Hi, it's Hazel and welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. Now, um, believe it or not, this is day 100 of the 100 day project. So can we just cue the hallelujah chorus and have that soaring song mark the day? I uh, kind of wanted, and I, I have to say, I'm taping this out of order. I, uh, oh, and forgive these hands. I'm nail appointment in a couple of days time. Anyway, these, um, I wanted this one to be sort of a finale. I started working on this uh, a couple of days ago and I thought, yeah, this would be a great one to, to end the series off with. So I don't know about you, but I see these um, coasters often in thrift stores. And in fact, I was able to get a bunch of them, uh, pairs, for 50 cents each. And of course, I'll be saving this packaging as well. Anyway, so I have quite a stack of those. And I, I always thought that they would, well, number one, they're birds, so they're lovely. And number two, thought, well, I need to do something with them. Oh, and before I, I leave the, the subject of coasters, this is another set, and these are different in that they almost have like, um, oh, I can see they're different types also. They almost have like a um, suede felty type background, and I've also picked these up over the years at thrift stores, and they clearly had uh, some kind of branding underneath. I can almost see it. Something, something international. Big T in the center. Anyway, what I did in preparation for using them at some point was to gesso over them. So anyway, that's, we'll leave that where it is. So, um, I thought, oh, wouldn't these, <coughs> excuse me, wouldn't these make great, uh, journal toppers? I mean, depending, I guess, on how thick, how bulky a person makes them, they could be used elsewhere in the journal. But it just seemed like, wouldn't that be a great thing to use on a cover? Oh, uh, okay, I actually have my journal handy. I'll show you how my prototypes turned out and how they look. Now, these are obviously have some gloss to them. I didn't let that bother me. And the very first one I made, I left it intact. Um, these are chipboards, so the others, and I'll show you that in a minute, I separated to make them a bit thinner and also to get <laughs> twice as many images out of them. So it would be simple enough to, uh, with your knife or a pokey tool, just sort of find the center, put it in there, and they separate very easily. Anyway, enough about that. Let me show you what I've done. And I will pull that journal in just to, and this is deliberately not finished, or I just haven't gotten to it. Maybe that's more accurate. So, okay, let's start. Oh, I should also tell you that I've been going through my ribbon, trying to get it off spools and onto clothes pegs because that saves a lot of space. So I've been handling and handling and reorganizing and consolidating my ribbon. And of course I have ribbon that hasn't even made it upstairs yet, trims and so on. And I think I'm putting together some, pack. I not, I think, I am putting together some packages of ribbon and trim and so on for my Etsy store. Anyway, I've got this huge thing and it's essentially, it is piping. And that's, I know that's kind of dark. Maybe I should turn on a light here. It's overcast again today. And my other one. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I thought I could do it with natural light. Um, okay, so I don't know if you can see, but the way any piping is made, it's got a cord inside. The fabric has been looped around it and sewn really tight to it. You end up with this little flangey type thing. And I thought, well, clearly I've got a lot of this. I'd better use, start using some of it. And the, I found that the navy worked quite nicely with any of the, um, you know, the bird patterns. 
Just trying to make a little more room here. Okay, so the first one, I let me find it. Okay. So this was the first one I did. So on a journal this size, <coughs> you can see that it, it's, it's just about the right size. So let me show you the back. So there's, now this little bird has been wasted because I didn't think ahead. You can see that I've attached the piping and I tried to, you know, not stretch it tight around the corner, but sort of ease it in a bit. And uh, I had this frilly or this sheer stuff that ravels very easily. But look at how lovely those edges are. So I just kind of used that around the corner. Found a chipboard uh, cutout. Had these hot pink feathers. And basically I was just pulling from the colors I see there. This was a scrap piece of lace that was kicking around. And then finished it off with some tags. So I think that looks lovely. But, you know, as you, on the first one, you make a couple of mistakes and then you get a little smarter. One, one idea, of course, was splitting it into two. Now, I have a fair bit of lace that is really <laughs> intense in color. Some of this, like this, was salvaged from a top. It's actually, if I uh, took the time to unfold it, you'll see it's exactly the shape of a tank top one of those false front type things. So I love this bird and I seem to have the fewest of him, to be honest, him, her. Anyway, so I've used this hot pink or purple uh, lace. Again, this came from a piece of clothing, thrifted clothing. Had this sheer, not even sure what this came from, to be honest, but here's more of it. And you can see that it just lends itself to something like this. I was really pulling on the sort of the mauves and the purples that are in there. I also had a bit of this stuff and I can't remember if this was uh, ribbon like um, or fabric or whatever, but of course, as you can see, it unravels something fierce. So green body, I use some of the green there. So I've used all that behind, again, the navy piping. And then again, I had a chipboard um, image here. I guess I could have, I did trim around, I did trim around it to get some of the white off, like the white board around it. And then I had these little itty bitty things from, um, from, a, di uh, uh, from a scrapbooking uh, pad and thought, yeah, it, it all works, so why not use it? It's high time, use it. So then I did another one. Now this one, you can see by this time, I'm um, using just half thickness. Again, some brightly colored lace. I had, um, I came across a bunch of these little embroidered, oh, would that like to lift? Huh. Oh dear, I need to do some repairs. This was actually quite painstaking. <laughs> so I had this corner off a hanky and it had a lovely little hem and I thought, well, I would like to preserve that. But then I thought, well, I need to bring in the pink and the blue. And this was pretty thin. I can't believe that is coming off like that. I used... Um, which I call it fabric tack. So I don't know. Am I going to have to maybe hand stitch? That might be an option. Anyway, we won't. Uh, I won't get bogged down with doing that now. Anyway, the long story short here, I ended up reinforcing that just with some copy paper, and then I thought my whole idea was if this becomes a pocket, I don't want anything catching on the lace. So I ended up reinforcing it twice with with. Um, copy weight paper and found a few little things that sort of match there. Anyway, so lace, lace, a bulb pin just with some sort of matching, um, you know, uh, beads and then a couple of labels. So I'll set that guy aside knowing that he needs some work and I'll move this out of the way.
so what I did, I had two more sort of prepped and I thought, well, I better show you some real action here. So I have sort of pre select I, I added the, the trim, the navy, um, and I don't know what the problem was, but I sure seem to end up with quite a bit of, you know, I got some glue residue here. So I either need to cover it or keep picking at it. Um, so let's work on this one. So I kind of am building on that background color here. You may have seen this stuff appear in other videos. It was a scrap piece that I found somewhere. It's lovely and I just keep find myself keep using it again and again. So basically what I was thinking here is, uh, maybe I'll use the bigger piece at the bottom. I was basically going to sort of, better set that guy down, sort of gather this up a bit. And again, I have the option of either doing it in front or behind. I have this hot pink, um, eyelash trim, which I thought would be kind of cool in a cluster like that. You know, it's it's so thin on its own, it's not doesn't make that much impact. But when you put it all together, you know, then you've got oh yeah, that's that's cool. I have obviously um, I kind of dug through these flowers. I thought that one could work again because of the sort of the mauve in his um, wings. And I also have this, I don't know, maybe that's becoming overkill, but I also thought that I would have something in the opposing corner. So, oh, and I have this. This was a fussy cut out of a wall, uh, wallpaper border. So I, that, I forgot about that. I was kind of intending to have that there as well. Or no, that was gonna hold down the eyelash trim. So you can see that it's kind of the sky's the limit in terms of how how far you want to go with any of this. But let's just for the sake of moving on, let's move on. I will, hopefully I kind of cleaned this nozzle this morning. Oh, and I have to say, if, now these are probably pretty well disguised. You saw when I showed you the piping that it's got that little white cord in there. Now, I began gluing it down. Um, see, there's the piping. I began gluing it down sort of on the bottom because I was thinking if I embellish, if I am embellishing, more likely the, the weight and the bulk of it will be at the bottom. So at first, I was just doing sort of a, a butt joint, and that didn't work very well, to be honest, because the white cord would show and blah, blah, blah. Now, the reason you can't see it is because I've covered it up. However, on the last two that I did today, I did sort of an angle thing. Now you can see the top layer, but I did the same thing underneath so that, ignore this glue here, but if you can see, that's how the connection is. So there's no white showing. And if you look at, at any, um, you know, cushion that you've bought or anything that you've bought that has trim, that's typically how they do it. So just a little note to self about that. Now, do I want that underneath or let's just see what's happening here. Because, of course, those are the options on top or underneath. I guess that um, I think I almost prefer it underneath. Then you get to see the navy um, piping. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. I'll just add some glue here. And you can see, again, how I've tried to sort of ease in the corner. Uh, yeah, you guys can see. Ease in the corner a bit so that uh, it's not like stretch to the max or something. And again, just sort of gathering, easing it in. 
it'll be easy to make something this sheer stick down. I could probably go a little further over. Again, you, you kind of want to have enough there so it doesn't look as though you've stretched it around the corner and it's, <laughs> it's doing that. So um, another thing I could do, I suppose, well, I could pull this back, give a little more, you know, so it's, it lies flatter, or I could even probably do a little slit in there to free it up, and I might just do that. Oh, that's probably a direction it doesn't want to rip. So we'll leave it like that for the time being. Um, now, I said I was going to use the leaf to, oops, to hold this all down and make a little puddle of glue here. Now, I suppose... I'm a little dismayed about that little embroidered pocket coming off there. So I don't know what the issue is. And if I have to pull that off, which it looks like I will have to, what I might do is just roughen up the glossiness with, you know, a bit of emery board or, or sanding block or something like that. Okay. And we can add this leaf. And I think the reason I'm feeling a little bit of um, uh, freedom or, you know, just kind of doing these very bold colors and mixed, you know, it's not all matchy-matchy, is because I've got boho on the brain. You know, it's just... So again, it is, it's, it's wonderful to be able to just reach into one's stuff. I'm not sure I like that as much anymore. I also pulled this out this morning. Oops. These were some, um, I don't know what, if that's kind of, it's not really crochet, I don't think. Uh, at, the, at one time, the dollar store, oh, it's kind of like a little, it's a ribbon, I guess, that they've uh, just wound around to make flowers. Anyway, I, of course, bought this in a variety of colors. So let's see. Maybe that's better. Maybe that's a little too small, though. That's a little too big. We need the porridge to be just the right temperature. I'm going to use a hot pink one on the other thing. Now this really is adding some bulk. Um, but it's not too big. But it does go well with that. So what the heck. This is for the cover of a, of a journal. So it can be three stories high if we want it to be. So I'm adding quite a bit of glue, as you can see. Now, of course, if balance, visual and otherwise, is your shtick, <laughs> as it usually is mine, um, then all the weight, the visual weight, is in this bottom left-hand corner. So that's why a person would need to probably do something in the other corner. And I guess that's why I thought I had a second piece all ready to go. So, again, probably for a bit of, let's put the more frayed side out. And I don't think, or should I be worried about how wide this is getting to be? You know, I suppose if it became too wide for a particular journal, then, um, sorry, I just dropped them. 
Um, if it became too wide for a particular journal, then of course some things could be trimmed or whatever. Maybe this could be more, more like so, more straight. I mean, I'd gather it when I glue it, but yeah, maybe that's a better way. <clears throat> So, you know, that's the, that's the give and take of doing things ahead of time. You don't know exactly what your needs will be for a particular project, but you've uh, used some downtime, you've been productive and created something, and if you need to to change or alter or amend or, you know, trim or whatever, something when you're actually at the point of using it, then that's okay. You've done all that, that uh, time saving and effort saving work ahead of time. So, you know, again, if this were to need, I think I'd like it maybe to go around the corner a bit. If this were to need to be trimmed, then obviously it could be trimmed at the time of usage. So I thought that would lie a little better, but whatever. Okay, so, oh, and I thought a bit more of this would probably be good. Now, I didn't pre-select a label, because we know labels are kind of always a finishing touch. So, or maybe what I should have done, if it's not too late, is just, okay, retract. I will add some more glue and just put down some of that eyelash trim. And again, because it's so very filmy and, you know, not very... Let's just tuck some of this in there. Easier said than done, people. Anyway, thank you so much for, um, for watching. Those of you who have subscribed, those of you who, who give a thumbs up and, a, and write comments, it's very much appreciated. Uh, I know I've said it before in this series that, you know, it's been a, a blessing and, and maybe a bit of a, well, certainly a commitment. Oh my goodness, this is not, maybe if I put this down, I can get better. Um, this has been a journey and a half, <laughs> but I wouldn't trade it for the world. Okay, that's kind of unruly and wild. Hey, just the way we like it. So thank you so much for those of you who have hung in there and watched a number of the videos. It is very much appreciated. Uh, I may just take, uh, you know, a, <laughs> a day to play hooky or something. Um, I wonder, is that getting a bit much? Ah, what the heck? There's no such thing as too much in boho. Um, might just play hooky for a day and, uh, you know, regroup and catch my breath and so on. But I, I have to say, I'm kind of hooked on doing videos. Which, you know, doesn't bode well for the cooking situation or the cleaning situation here at home. Uh, and I do also, of course, have to continue cleaning and organizing and scanning and getting stuff in the Etsy shop and all of that because videos alone, um, you know, that's only one aspect. Maybe it's a really fun aspect, but it's only one aspect of the whole journey. So, okay, let us call that done. And how are we doing for time? Uh, 
Can't see. Look, about 25 minutes. Okay, so this is what I have for the final one. I've pre-selected some stuff, and you might need to grab your sunglasses because this is pretty darn bright here. Now, I just, it was an odd, sh I cut out kind of an odd-shaped piece off the, um, uh, <laughs> I cut this off, which is an odd shape, off an equally odd shaped piece of lace. So I'm thinking that this green picks up, you know, these lighter greens in the leaves and even, you know, parts of his body. So there's that. Then I was thinking, I saw a video this morning. Uh, oh, I think it was Diane uh, from, from um, Pretty Pink Cottage who was doing a thrift haul. And she was talking, about, or she showed some brads she got. And I thought, well, what, am I chopped liver? I have brads too. So as I was digging through, I came across these, I would think, I don't know, but I would guess that they're probably called bar brads. So they've got two, boy, this glue. Uh, they've got two sets of legs on them. So I thought, okay, why not do something kind of different? have this go through use the two colors that are primary the primary colors in this in this bird as well as this sort of well i don't think that's leather but sort of i don't know what i'm going to do with that however first things first so what i did because there's more space at the top the space gets narrower i thought i'd put the longer one um down first so let's and considering how many cute little, um, cute little um, pokey tools I have, I didn't have one handy. I had to, I dug a couple out of my um, book binding little kit. So what I'm going to do is just sort of lay this down and make marks as to where these, uh, I need to poke the holes. That doesn't really want to cooperate very well. So let's do one, say here, and one here. And of course, I'm going to try very hard to keep them the right distance from the top, So, because I don't want it to look crooked. I don't want it to look crooked. I don't want it to be crooked. Now that could be an issue there because that's going through the trim. Okay, so that's roughly let's see what we get. Okay, so that goes in easily. Doesn't look too bad. So we should have this little screwdriver here. So I'm basically just flattening uh, or opening up these little legs, these little prongs. You probably can't see a darn thing because it's navy on navy. But trust me, that's exactly what I'm doing. This is like a, a mic, uh, I don't have my micrometer here, but I think this one is just a, like a hair's width lower. So not so happy about that. Um, okay, let's try to be a little more accurate this time. Or do I want it flush? Maybe no, offset. And I'd better not put it too close. I don't want these guys touching. So maybe I'll just do it a, a little lower than I've made the mark. Again, this is going through easily because it's just chipboard and it's just one thickness. Okay, 
that's pretty good. Isn't this the cutest? Don't know where I got it. Might have been out of my dad's. Uh, it's uh, he was a kind of a man of like a jack of all trades. So I like it. So let's figure out how we want this. Um, how we want this lace to sort of, and again, it can be trimmed, you know, and reshaped or whatever. I prefer sort of taller uh, orientation, again, because the way typical journal covers look. Um, I would probably also, at the point of use, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? Fray the edges a bit. Right now it's it's pretty regular. This side looks better than this side. That's where I sort of trimmed off some pieces this morning. Okay. Now, unfortunately, that's all I've planned so far. Oh, I thought I was going to use some... Hmm. No purple. Now I do have this in a couple of sizes, so... Oh, and I also have this yellow. Now I put my brads away because I thought I pre-selected what I wanted. Now I do have the pieces that I cut off, but is there any advantage to... That brad probably won't get used. Hmm. I don't think I have any. I don't have any of that navy lace here. And I don't know, to be honest, if that's navy or black, but I, I'm choosing to see it as navy. <laughs> Oh, I've got this little wispy thing here. And do I have any? I have some paper, scrap, paper doily scraps. You know, when you can just use what is within reach. That's too dark. Um, you kind of have to just do it and use it. I don't seem to have any cheese cool. Oh, I've got some little thing here. But again, that almost is introducing a new color, which <laughs> I guess isn't the biggest problem. Maybe what I need to do is lay some of that down. Whoops. Fling that across the room. Lay some of this down, sort of bunch it up like that, and then do that. That could work. Those little flowers. Yeah, let's do that. Um, maybe not the rattiest part of the doily. And I'll probably just put it down as you see it there and then tear off strategically tear off some of the part that's sticking out. Okie dokie. Maybe for this I will use glue stick. And then whatever I add after that will help hold that down. And again, it's not the end of the world if every little bit isn't um, stuck down because then it just adds some dimension to it. Now this... What I could do, and I think what I did on that other one is I cut this in half and then I had more um, 
sort of frayed edges showing and more was able to create a more um, you know as opposed to trying to keep the piece intact you end up with a few more dimensional elements sort of so let's just stick this down whoops No, that's not going to help the top part stick, is it? So if I wanted to, this is another fold here. I could cut this open. And again, it, it exposes more frayed edge. Yoy. Yoy, yoy, yoy. Oh, I guess enough of that seeped through that it is holding down the... No, that might be too small. That's probably a better proportion. No. That might have been nice underneath the... Oh, well. We will leave that as it is. So again, a fair bit of glue because this, this has a little bit lumpy, a little bit bumpy, and it's fairly, you know, kind of heavy. So we do want it to make good contact. <clears throat> I um, hope you are well. This uh, day 100 will be airing on see my little planner thing here june 27th which holy cow it uh, <laughs> six months of the year is gone guys i cannot believe that how is it that time really uh, picks up speed the the older you get and the more um the more you want to and perhaps need to accomplish in any given day or week year okay so the last thing here will be to glue down that green and again this this back is not pretty but i don't care and it doesn't need to be because of course if it's used as a journal topper uh, it'll never be seen it also will never act as a pocket because, oh, I gotta put something a little glossier under here. It will never act as a um, pocket because it's way too lumpy bumpy. Do I want that offset a bit? Perhaps. And as I said, I would sort of roughen up the edges of that green lace. I'd also tear this a bit, but. Okay, let us stand the glue up, pull in that journal cover and show you these last two that we did on camera. Okay, so that was the hummingbird. Cool. Uh, probably needs a label. I'm not going to dig through that now, though. Nice. And if in the final application, this seems a little too shiny, I think what I would do is maybe take do I have an emery board here let's just try that a bit now I guess 
that would have been something good to do before doing all the decorating. I don't even, I can't see if that's doing any good or not. I guess it's scuffing it up a bit. And all a person would need then is to run a dirty ink brush over it. Okay, so no matter how many of these you do, or I do, keep learning. So if the gloss is a problem with holding um, with glue being able to stick well, as it did on that pocket one, then but uh, scrap, you know, rough it up. I don't know if there's any how much grit is left on this emery board, to be honest. Oh, what have I got here? <clears throat> That was uh, kind of a turquoisey. Yeah, that that did a bit of a color transfer. Okay, again, <laughs> learn from me, my mistake and do that. Uh, prior to decorating so you can see that does that did take down the gloss a bit and it added a bit more interest to the background okay and let's see the final one and again I wouldn't leave this these pointy corners here but see somehow this one that has the um, sort of woven look behind it is not as um yeah see i've got three like that and then these two that are more shiny so yeah when i rip the that took no effort at all um i will scuff that one up as well and hope that i see what i mean not good now i did think i could you know disguise that with uh, a felt pen or something, but obviously making this a bit grittier should help the, don't you just love the way I drag out the, the, uh, saying goodbye here? It's like I don't want the series or the video to ever end. Okay, that should help there. Let's just rough this up a bit. And again, I'll use the maybe I'll use the same two. Yeah, even having it hit that um, little tag there kind of, whoa, bent the corner. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that one. Okay, I will touch this corner with our glitter glue. Come on, you can do it. And I'll just quickly re-glue that pocket and then you'll see that the day and the project have been, whoops, have been salvaged. Okay, about 
three quarters of half an inch, five eighths from that edge and about there. And maybe I should go a wee bit onto the fabric or to the piping this time so that there's an additional place for it to, you know, something with a, maybe a little more grab to it. That is a lot of glue, man. Okay. So, so about, I'd say, a quarter or three-eighths of an inch off the fabric-y part is being, is making contact with the edge. So hopefully, this time it will stick. So let me just show you this. Oh, this one looks a little naked, doesn't it? I might have to add some blue. I don't have any here. I'd have to cut a chunk off. Anyway, I won't do anything more to this until the time comes, but it does seem like I do need something. Um... more in this corner anyway guys that is it for today that is also it for um the 100 day series again thank you very much for uh, your role in it and stay tuned there are more videos coming your way Again, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, and please, uh, if you can, take the time to write a comment, ask a question, make suggestions, and so on and so on. Thanks, guys. Bye.